integrate the following. So what we'll do here is we'll do a few tricks. Um, first off, we'll we'll turn we'll have sine raised to the fourth t, but then we'll we'll take um, let's see here. Uh, we can we can take cosine raised to the fourth t and turn it into one minus the sine squared t raised to the second, and then we have cosine of t. So then we'll set u. We'll use u substitution now, and we'll set u equal to the sine of t, and du is equal to the cosine of t. So the reason I did this is it just makes it much easier to integrate to the fourth, one minus u squared times du. So what I can do now is with this whole thing, so multiply this out, so I get one minus two u plus u to the second, and then distribute the, let's see here, u to the fourth, u to the fourth, and this should be u squared, I made a mistake. 2u squared, u to the fourth, and then distribute the fourth. So we end up with u to the fourth minus 2u to the sixth plus u to the eighth du. So when we integrate, the du goes away, and we're left with u to the fifth over 5 minus 2u to the seventh over seven plus u to the ninth over nine plus c. But we're almost done, and all we have to do now is substitute back in the sine. So we had, excuse me, we now have sine of fifth raised to the fifth of t over five minus two the seventh sine raised to the seventh of t plus sine raised to the ninth of t over nine plus c. And that's it. Okay. I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching the video and you have yourself a great day.